Hello, welcome to Learn with Lakhneni. In this video, I am going to solve the problem of finding whether three continuous common numbers are there in the Python list or not. So, if there is any three continuous common number, immediately that number has to be printed. So, here I am solving a lot of solved exercises on Python list so that they will be helpful for your software industry point of view. Please watch the video and after watching the video, please make it a practice so that you will get more hands-on knowledge. Problem here, the program is Python program to check if the list contains three consecutive common numbers in the Python. Consecutive numbers in the Python list. Let us suppose I have taken a list 4, 5, 5, 5, 3, 8. So here there are three consecutive numbers 5, 3, 5, 5, 5. Now my output is 5. Here I have taken another list 1, 1, 1, 64, 23, 64. 22, 22, 22. So now in the, in my list there are two numbers which are three consecutive numbers. Here one is one occurs three times continuously. At the same time, 22 occurs three times continuously. So my output is one and 22. This is very easy with the help of uh, you can solve this problem with the help of for loop. C the logic. Here I wrote the code. Here I have taken the array 4, 5, 5, 5, 3, 8. So this is my array. Here I am finding the size of the array. Size of the array is equal to length of array or length of list. So, how many elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, here size will become 6. Size will become 6. Here just I have used a small technique for i in range size minus 2. That means for i in range. What the range? Size minus 2. What the size? 6. 6 minus 2. 4. That means if in a list how many elements are there in my list? There are 6 elements. 4 5 5 5 3 8. So here I have taken for i in range of size minus 2, size is 6, 6 minus 2 is 4, that means 0, 1, 2, 3. Range of 4 means 0, 1, 2, 3. Here what I am applying is, I am checking every number with the rest of the two numbers. If, if all are same, then I am printing that number. If it is not same, then I am, I am shifting to the next one. Like the, to the next one. Now I, am check, I will check this number with the rest of the two numbers. Like that, I will use the for loop and I will check uh, the three consecutive numbers. So here for i in range of 4, what is the first value if i range will take the values from 0 to 4. So what is the first value if i, i is equal to 0. So here, here I wrote a condition, if array of i, array of i, what is the i, i is equal to 0, is equal to, is equal to, now I am checking with the next one, i plus 1, i plus 1 means 0 plus 1, array of 1, is equal to, and, and i plus 1. What i plus 1? 1. Is equal to, is equal to f i plus 2. That means 2. So here I am checking f 0 with f 1 and f 1 with f 2. That means here this one I am checking with this one. And I am checking this one with this one. If all are same, then those three consecutive numbers are existed in the same consecutive numbers existed three times in the given list. If everything is fine, then 
print array of five. That i value I am printing. That means a of five. A of five. What is there? A of five four. But here the condition is not satisfied. Again, I am going into the array and I am taking the next value of five. What is the next value of five? I value will be one. Again, use the same logic. Again, for i i in range of four. So what is the second value of i? i is equal to one. Now you apply array of one is equal to is equal to array of two and array of two is equal to is equal to array of three. One. So here you just check. This is zero. This is one. This is two. This is three. These two I am checking. Array of one is equal to array of two. At the same time, these two I am checking. Array of two is equal to array of three. If all are same, then this if condition will become true. If it is true, then again I am printing the array of i. So where is the array of i? Five. That means five occurs three times consecutively. Again, I will go to the next one. What is the next one? i is equal to two. What is i is equal to two? Again, array of two is equal to is equal to array of two plus one three. A of three is equal to a of three plus one a three. At the same time, a of two is equal to here i is equal to two i is equal to a is equal to next i value equal to a of three is equal to is equal to a of four. That means I am checking these three values. So these three values are not equal. Again, I will become three. Again, from three. I will check these two things and these two things. So they are not equal. So here, after reaching the, after reaching, after completing all the elements from the range, now you come out of the loop. So after come out of the loop, coming out of the loop. So how many times here array of i is printed? Only one time with element five. So five is the only number which occurred three times in the given list consecutively. So here we have to see. Then here the number of times is very important, and at the same time, all the number of times so the element should present consecutively. That means three times consecutively the element should be presented. Similarly, here I have changed my list. Here the list is one 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 sixty four twenty three twenty sixty four, and so here one occurs three times continuously, twenty two occurs three times continuously. Now I have used the same logic. Size array is equal to size is equal to length of array. So one, how what the how many elements are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine elements are there. That means I will check from zero to I will check from zero to nine minus one. Nine minus one, nine minus two is seven. So seven means range of range of seven. The range of seven means zero to six. Always I will check from this is zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here I will check these two and these two. Here that is the logic. This one zero, E F zero and E F one. Here E F one and E F two. So both are same. So you can print the one as the repeated element. Next again I am checking the next three consecutive elements. One, one, sixty-four. These two are same, but these two are not same. So the condition is false. So the condition becomes false. For so that you cannot enter into the if loop again, you will enter into the for loop. The next value of i is two again, zero one two. You are checking one and sixty four. It is false. Sixty four twenty three. It is also false. Now you cannot enter into the if again for loop. Now the next value of i is three. Now you are checking sixty four and twenty three and twenty three and twenty four. So like that you are continuing. So whenever i will i become so six. Whenever i become six. So a of six is equal is equal to a of seven at the same time a of seven is equal is equal to a of eight so that your these two are same so that you are getting the same value and the if statement is true and you are printing a of six what is a of six twenty two so twenty two and one are the two elements which are presented continuously three times in the given array suppose if you execute this code. Then it gives uh, one and twenty-two are the two elements uh, which existed two number of uh, three number of times as per the given 
problem. So after completing this, please practice it so that it will be more useful for you. Once if you practice it, it will give some more experience. So I hope you understand the logic in the given problem. So if you really like my video, love my video, please subscribe my channel, learn with Lekhnani so that it gives more energy for us to do more number of videos in future for the betterment of the society and the students to grab good jobs in the software industry. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video.